Hi everybody and welcome to this new daily recap. We are getting closer to the knockout stages as we are going through the day 5. Every point is important now to be in the best position and we got some interesting games in every category. As usual, let's start with the elite women's division where the big game of the group B was between China and Canada. A very important one to determine which country will finish first of the group. And finally, Canada made the difference and won for one uh, I'd say we're probably pretty happy. I think we had some good drives that were successful and then there was obviously a little couple breakdowns there where we let in a goal, maybe a bit tighter than we wanted to. Um, China definitely a team to be respected. They have a lot of speed, they're flat on the bottom, they have good flicks, so like it could have been anyone's game for sure. I think definitely the rest of today is going to be resting. I think that crossover game tomorrow is going to be super important for us because then that gives us a shot at the corner finals and then, you know, it kind of opens up to whoever's game. So. Yeah, I think definitely resting. In the other results of the day, Argentina won against Singapore 5-0. Spain got a little scared, but finally won at the buzzer against USA 2-1. And Australia lost against New Zealand 2-1. Looking at the rankings so far, France stays on top with 16 points, followed by New Zealand and GB with 13. South Africa and Australia are closing the ranking. For the Group B now, Canada is in first position with 10 points, Argentina is making its apparition in the top 2 with 7 points, and China is just behind with 6. In the men's elite division now, two big nations were going against each other, Colombia and New Zealand. And despite a big game defensively from the Colombians, they collapsed twice and couldn't reply to finally lose the game 2-0. Maybe two mistakes from us, yeah, because we were pressing the first half. And maybe with the first goal we lost a lot of our mind. And, and we try in the second half of the end, but it was not enough to, to score. But I enjoy the game a lot. We have to keep in pressure all the time, yeah? Maybe that is the point to beat uh, the first seven teams in the ranking, yeah. In the other results of the day, Turkey and Australia tied 1-1, GB collapsed against South Africa 5-1, and Argentina won shortly against USA 1-0. Looking at the rankings now, New Zealand is still on top and undefeated with 30 points, Australia and Turkey are behind with 23 points, and France is at the fourth place with 21. Germany stays at the last position with no points scored so far. Let's see what happened in the Masters Women's Division now, where the important game for the rest of the competition was between France and Australia, and the Redoutable got surprised at the beginning but managed to push harder and harder to completely flip the game at their advantage and win 4-2. Yeah, we know that we can win because we have shown the video, we are working a lot, we are trained a lot and we were not, uh, yes, we were surprised but we said, okay, it's okay, just a goal. So we just need to stay concentrated and uh, to move forward, to, to swim a lot and just to do what we have to do. We came here from the goal, the goal, only the goal. If we didn't win, it's, it's not a win. So, you know, we are, we are 11 moms in the team, we are all our children, some of them are there, but for the older girls, uh, we are alone without any family, we have made a lot of sacrifices, so if we are here, it's only for the world. In the other results of the day, USA won against Canada 4-2 and then lost against New Zealand 8-3. Looking at the rankings, so far, friends stay undefeated at the first place with 18 points, Aussies miss their chance and stay second with 15 and New Zealand is at the third place with 9 points. And let's finish with the Masters men's division and it was an awaited battle for the ages between USA and New Zealand at the top of the rankings but despite a game with a lot of intensity USA managed to make New Zealand fall apart with some deadly counter attacks to finally win 5-0. Yeah, I'm very happy with the team's performance. Um, we connected really well, we came out hard from the beginning. Uh, the midline was able to connect with the forwards, the forwards were able to drive and we were able to finish the goals. So happy with the score, 5-0 against New Zealand is, is a big win for us. Everything that's happened in the past doesn't mean a damn thing, it's deleted, it means jack shit. What matters is the uh, quarterfinals, semifinals and then the final game, that's all that matters. In the other results of the day, South Africa won against China 4-0, Australia tied against France 2-2 and Canada won pretty easily against Japan 17-0. Looking at the rankings so far, USA remains on top and undefeated with 21 points and it will be a tough battle for the second place between France, New Zealand and Australia which have 40 points each. Japan stays at the last place. 
And that's it for the day 5, competition is going faster and faster, but be ready for the day 6, which will be the last day of the round robin. Many important games are coming tomorrow and many things can change before the knockout stages, but as usual, we will analyze them together in a new daily recap. See ya!